Here's our fifth example of how to use the method of substitution for integration. And here it is, the natural log, the integral of the natural log of 3x over x dx. Here you say, wow, what do I do with this thing? Well, let me show you a hint here. I'm going to separate this a little bit and write it as the integral of the natural log of 3x times 1 over x dx. And then I'm going to take this here and substitute that for u. So let u equal the natural log of 3x. So du dx, the derivative of that is equal to 1 over 3x. Oh, I said du dx, and I write du du. That doesn't work. Du dx is equal to 1 over 3x. And so then I can say that du is equal to 1 over 3x times dx. And then finally, dx is equal to uh, 3x times du. And then we can substitute this and this inside our integral sign. So let's see what we end up with. So the natural log of 3x can be replaced by u, so this is equal to the integral of u. And 1 over x dx, let's see here, the dx can be replaced by 3x du, so times 1 over x, and dx is 3x times du. And then you can see that this x and this x cancels out, and you end up with the integral of u times 3 du. And then, of course, you want to take the 3, which is a constant outside integral sign, so this is equal to 3 times the integral of u du. And that, of course, can be integrated. This is equal to 3 times u squared over 2, right? Raise the 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, and then, of course, plus a constant of integration. And finally, replace back for u what u is equal to, which was the natural log of 3x. So this is equal to 3 times the natural log of 3x, quantity squared, divided by 2, plus a constant of integration. There we go. And that's the answer. Now you say, wow, how in the world would I have figured this out? Well, sometimes you just kind of have to guess. So maybe you say, okay, I'm going to replace 1 over x by u, so substitute that way. And when you try that, it probably won't work. And then say, well, maybe I'll substitute x for u and try that, and that probably won't work. Maybe you'll substitute 3x for u, and that won't work. So sometimes you try different things. But in this case, if you let the natural log of 3x equal u, and you can then see that it works out, and you can solve the problem. So sometimes it's kind of a hidden miss. You may not know exactly what to substitute, but here's the example, and I recommend when you see something like this, take the whole natural log of 3x and make that equal to u, and as you can see, then you can solve the problem.